feel like After the Fall was an important play for us from the very beginning to have included in the Arthur Miller season, right when we first started talking about 2010 being a season focused on the works of Arthur Miller. Uh, I think it was important to look at this play because of a couple of reasons. One is that this is, although Arthur Miller has disputed this in some interviews, this is in a lot of ways a very autobiographical play and gives us a lot of information about Arthur Miller himself, his relationship with his family, his relationship with Marilyn Monroe, his relationship with uh, Elia Kazan and the uh, House of Un-American Activities Committee, the McCarthyism trials, and there was a lot of really interesting stuff dramaturgically to be able to look at uh, in terms of who Miller is as a writer and as a person that I think were really important in this play. Um, it's also structurally and theatrically, I think, an incredibly important play in Miller's canon um, because it really was a, a really a different kind of storytelling in theater. Uh, when he first wrote this play, it was in uh, 1964, I believe. Um, it, it broke away from a lot of kind of the uh, realism at the time and the uh, kind of narrative structure at the time without going to the extremes of some of the really uh, crazy stuff that was happening in theater at the time, a lot of the really experimental, abstract, avant-garde stuff. Um, but instead, what Miller is doing here is that he's telling a really straightforward story. He's giving you characters that are very real and that you can really grab onto, but he's playing with the theatricality in the sense that the entire play takes place inside this one character's mind, in his thoughts and memories, and so there's not really a linear structure to the narrative. It bounces around chronologically. It has scenes that happen that kind of fade in and out real quickly, almost flickering at points. And so, uh, so, so there's a real interesting sense of writing on a technical level that I thought was really interesting to explore. I play the character of Quentin, uh, which is in a lot of ways uh, very much a representation of Arthur Miller. Um, uh, it kind of follows through a lot of a, a real parallel story to a lot of the events, a lot of the characters that were in Arthur Miller's life. Um, and he is a fascinating character. Um, and the whole play takes place in his head um, as he's struggling to figure out how to come to terms with some of the things that have happened in his life and more importantly to his response to the things that have happened in his life. Um, he has uh, is, is wrestling with the relationships that are still lingering that uh, or not the relationships, kind of the traumatic experiences, I guess, that are still lingering from the relationships that he had with his parents. Um, he's dealing with a first marriage that was a failure, a second, mar a second marriage um, to uh, Maggie, kind of the character, uh, kind of loosely similar to Marilyn Monroe. And as Miller's relationship with Marilyn Monroe did, Quentin's relationship with Maggie also ends with her spiraling into depression and ultimately into suicide. Um, along with that, you also have the character of Quentin dealing with McCarthyism very directly, dealing with the House of Un-American Activities Committee, uh, dealing with other relationships, other kinds of failures that he sees in himself. Um, a lot of it is about the guilt that he feels feels within himself for the way that he's responded to these different relationships and situations. And the whole play really takes place in a moment of trying to make the decision of beginning a new relationship with another woman. And as he's looking ahead towards that potential new relationship, he's trying to look back at everything in his life and think, thinking to himself, well, how, how can I possibly make a promise, commit myself emotionally to someone new again when I've so clearly screwed up everything that has happened you know, up to this point in my life. Um, so there's a lot for him to work through and he is a very intellectual and rational character who, who really analyzes everything and has this kind of emotional detachment to a lot of things. Um, and that's part of what he feels guilty for, I think. Um, so, so it's, a, it's he's been a really, really fascinating character to explore because the the depths of what he's been through are staggering. Um, but the way that he processes them and tries to find out 
tries to find a way to come to terms with them is, is through this kind of intellectual exploration of, of himself and his relationships, which is a lot. It's a lot for an actor to, to kind of grab onto, and it was a big challenge for me at the beginning, and one that uh, I think I've been really excited about. It's been a lot of fun to play with during rehearsals. But it was interesting. I talked to a, a friend of mine in the theater community who had played Quentin a couple of years back and asked him long before we started the, uh, the process, rehearsal process if he had any tips for me, knowing that I was about to walk into this role. And the tip that he gave me is one that really resonated with me strongly, um, and that is that it's not my show. It feels like it is. It feels like this burden is on me as an actor, um, that the whole show is dependent on me, and that you know I'm the star of the show. But it's not. It's not true at all. It is absolutely an ensemble piece. And for me as an actor, I need to look at it as an ensemble piece. And so the advice that he gave to me was, this is not your show, this is everybody else's show, and you have to trust the rest of your cast, the rest of the ensemble, and they will guide you through this. And I've realized during rehearsals how true that is and how important that is to kind of keep in mind that I can't take all the weight of it on myself. And we have an ensemble in this cast that is phenomenal, and the work that everybody's doing and the, the focus that everybody's bringing to rehearsals really does make me feel like I don't need to take on all of that weight. I do have this great support of everybody else that's, you know, and, and I think that people really will see this as an ensemble piece, and, and that's the way it feels to me right now. So please don't miss it. Chicago Tribune is calling us one of the top ten most anticipated shows this summer after the fall by Arthur Miller. It starts on July 8th as our first preview, July 11th as our official press opening, and then we run Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday up through August 22nd at the Greenhouse Theater. Uh, take a look at our website, eclipsetheater.com, for details, and please get your tickets soon because they're going to go fast and it's going to be a hell of a show. Thanks.